Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever uh, on the North Atlantic map. Uh, for the last few episodes we've been focused very heavily on North America where we've been putting together, well, uh, pretty pretty complicated goods lines. Um, and, well, well, okay, no, so it's not that complicated. We've been putting together an extensive number of goods lines. Uh, we've also introduced the Metro liner to the game in order to get Port Nelson hooked up to the rest of the uh, North American uh, passenger network. And today that's going to be our focus. Uh, I could very easily continue working on goods, but I thought I'd take a break just for one episode and, uh, and get the, uh, the remainder of the, uh, of the circuit complete. Uh, if this doesn't take too long, I'll also extend to Miami. I know, heady times. Um, so you're not going to want to go away. You're going to want to stick around and, uh, and see what sort of a mess I can make of this. Stay tuned. So we start our story today, as so many stories are started, in the noble city of Chicago. Uh, we will be moving out of here uh, presently, uh, where we will head to Kansas City, and then, uh, and then on the corner, because Kansas City, you know, horribly neglected, uh, we will head around the corner to Atlanta. Now, then uh, we'll take uh, the existing route that we have on there, and we will uh, we'll we'll run it around the entire the entire circuit, probably adding a couple more trains into the business. Um, Later on, if we get to it today, I don't know if we will or not, uh, we'll also do uh, the Miami-Charlotte-Atlanta triangle of passenger doom. Um, but uh, not just yet. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty straightforward stuff, really. I mean, it's, you know, let's uh, let's just get cracking by getting rid of this, this rubbish that we don't need here. Uh, and of course, the the hope is that by uh, well, if I if I do this correctly, we'll be able to uh, hook it up onto the main. Well, in fact, that's the challenge: is hooking it up onto the main um, uh, depot hub that we have up near Port Nelson. So first things first, what do we want to? Where do we? What do I? Where do I? Where do I want to put the the station in, in Kansas City? I mean, I'm quite happy to you know delete stuff. In order to make this fit, you know, I, I just deleted stuff there for the hell of it. You know, there wasn't even any rhyme or reason to it. I just got it done. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's take that all the way back to there. Now, I'm thinking a, a bendy station on the outside of the town. Uh, and given that uh, that we're, we're thinking, you know, modern here, right? we'll, we'll go modern with it. Uh, let's make high speed. 320, please. And... Uh, Bit of bit of bend on it. Uh, now I want to I want to head out. If you see the, the oil refinery we've got going on there, I want to head just to the right of that uh, while coming in at that kind of angle. See, look, it's, it's just that's just going to fit. And in fact, Kansas City, because I'm building it quite late in the game, uh, I've got uh, you know I've got loads of cash, so uh, so I'm gonna you know. I'm going to bulldoze a bunch of Kansas City in order to make this fit really rather well. No, that's that's probably an exaggeration. In order to make it fit nicely. All right, we're going to go there. Good show. Uh, right, let's get rid of that. And then, uh, now, uh, if uh, hold on, better better do a quick mental mental refresher here because half the track is going to be electrified, the other half is not. Uh, the, the the primary route around the US is not going to be electrified. Um, we're going to keep running diesels, and we'll probably continue to run Alcos, to be honest. Uh, the the Metro liner will have its place, most definitely. But uh, there we go. There we go. So that's that's the side that we want electrified. Rhyming entirely unnecessary. Uh, there we go. Right. So. The electrified track is the outer track. Okay. Now I have, I have no idea even if I'm going to use this yet. I think later on. I mean, what I've what I've tried to do uh, already um, uh, between Atlanta and Charlotte is uh, yeah. No, I don't care about fields. I can afford everything now. Nothing matters to me anymore. I am I am beyond monetary concerns. Um, uh, yeah, between between Atlanta and Charlotte, because the two cities are so close together, uh, I have been well. I've considered. I've played with in the past um, having 
an additional stop in between the two. So a, a stop that is basically on the border between those two cities. To see if we couldn't get a little bit of, you know, internal commuter line running there. Have you done that in a, a weird fashion? You've, you've done okay. It's, it's all right. I mean, you could have done it better. But hey, who doesn't like a you know a swoopy kink through the through the forest? Everybody likes a swoopy kink through the forest. I hear you cry. Uh, good, right? That's that side. Now we we'll do the other side as well. Let's go as far as there to begin with, and then we'll match all four together. Now, I mean, it's almost no, almost is not even not even close. It is. Uh, there is there is redundancy in this track. The likelihood that I, I end up running enough trains down here to warrant four tracks is is pretty slim. Um, but I can use these these tracks to uh, to run uh, freight down as well as passengers, if I so desire. Um, I mean, it would be good to get that many trains running down there, but it's it's a question of whether the the, the demand is going to warrant it or not. And, you know, the, while, while the demand's pretty respectable right now, I don't think we're going to get to the point where kind of nose-to-tail trains on a on a four-setter track is, is really going to be necessary. But we shall see, friends. We will find out in due course. Right, good. There you go. That's pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing that's really missing here is I do need a switch to get onto the, the track back to Port Nelson. Uh, and another one over there, because there is where the depot will be. Challenging. Um, what should we do with this? Well, we could go. So you're coming that way, right? Because you like no. Hold on. Don't get yourself confused, man. Just you know, stay concentrated. There we go. Right. So we're going to want. Uh, and we'll wait till the, the track is uh, is four ballasted. We're going to want one that does that, and it doesn't need to be electrified. And then another that does the same in reverse onto the next track over. Rather like that, in fact. There we are. Right, good. That should do the trick. Now I'll bang a I'll bang a quick signal here. Now uh, more signals will be required. Uh, as I as I stick some trains down it, but uh, right now those will do the job. Okay, so we come flying into into Kansas City where everybody's a whooping and a hollering. Oh look, the trains! They have finally arrived. See, we are not second class citizens after all. They do care about us, and other such uh, pithy pithy statements uh, will be made by the townsfolk. Yeah, I'm going straight through the middle of that. Enjoy. Uh, I no longer care about you people that have been living there for years and years. Now it's all about the future. So if you want to get with the future and build something dramatic outside here, then, uh, you know, be my guest. But, you know, don't expect your uh, your family house to, to remain intact. I've got a shed load of cash and I know how to use it. Well... I know how to use it, uh, not necessarily well. Uh, right, now, some kind of curvaceous bridge here would be jolly good fun. Let's see, that looks, that looks jolly good fun. It wants to delete a building. Well, you know how much I care about that at the moment. Let's go green, obviously. All right, let's have a quick look and see how glamorous that looks. Semi-glamorous. It would be better if it wasn't quite so high, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm over it. We'll, we'll have that. Um, and then we'll, we'll probably do something similar the other side. But first, let us spread our wings beyond the, uh, the city limits of Kansas City and into the next thrilling escapades on this, uh, on this journey. Right. So once again, outer lane is going to be electrified. Right, here we go. Yeah, all of that. Right, now. We're going to have to electrify the station. Upgrade. Just, just don't fight me on this. Good. I don't mind sacrificing a few passengers to, you know, the the, the old gods. Uh, the, well, the, the old gods are bulldozing. 
Uh, right now, which way are we coming down here? We've got a line that runs like this, if we go completely straight. Probably go to the, the, the left as we look at it of the refinery and then whack it in there. Okay, yep, that can work. Let's have a let's have a look. Right, so outer outer side is electrified. Take about there. Now we won't. I mean, you know, if I get all of this right, we won't need any crossovers anywhere else on this network because uh, the you will have you know two sets of trains running in in circuit. One seven two. Yeah, 172 is okay. No, 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 steady on. Good. Well, although a more aggressive angle might have been required. 172, you know, was... No, it's not going to do it. Uh, because we're, we're close-ish to the station here, this is the place to bleed it off some speed. So I wonder whether, you know, losing a little bit more... And going to the to the right of the refinery is the way to go. Let's give it a try. As mentioned, you know, I, I got I got all the money in the world. I can I can spend it freely, and will. Yeah, right. So if we come around like that, yeah, that's a better angle, isn't it? It's going to need to go a bit more. And you're still doing 100 miles per hour around the corner, right? Okay, good. That's all fine then. Can you get around there? That's about what about here? ish quite an quite an elegant arrival corner and the same with the uh, with the non electrified yeah so i mean you know as much as i'm kind of like haha see how much money i'm making um you know this is this is now the point of the game where you kind of go, all right, well, what do I want this this network to look like? We've effectively reached the point where, you know, unless I'm a complete imbecile, we'll, uh, we'll have enough money to do whatever we like for the rest of the game. Um, you know, we, we've reached the point of, you know, effectively just sandboxing it now. Uh, so what do I want to, you know, what do we want to accomplish? And I think, you know, we've got planes. I want more ships. Uh, we, but, I mean... The, the big the big goal is is still to try and provide uh, as many goods types as possible uh, while running as many vehicles as possible to deliver said goods now at some point that that means that uh, you know at some point the game's gonna grind to a grind to a standstill and uh, you know we're just gonna have to declare victory but in the short term it means that you know you can you can get a little bit imaginative with stuff. Now, admittedly, sticking a, a circuit together in, uh, in America is, is not particularly imagi uh, imaginative because, uh, you know, the, the map is set up in, in a way that, that really suggests that's the only thing to do with the cities down here. I'd quite like to stick a, a full expressway from, uh, from Port Nelson all the way to Miami. That could be rather jolly. Uh, and we'll we'll get to that at some point. Right now, plastics. We got a plastics factory here, and I probably ought to connect that back up again. Let's give them a give them a road of some description. Have a have a medium country road. Yeah, I'll give you a, give you a little bridge -a -roo. No, let's uh, let's give you a slightly larger bridge -a -roo. I don't, don't I, I spotted that it you know it was doing it, but uh, I didn't like the looks of it. There we go. We'll go ultra modern with that one as well. See, see how you get on with that. And then same thing here. I mean, I, I perish to think how many. In fact, let's have a look. What do we got? They're just complaining about connections going on. Dublin and Toronto should not be connected. Although I think they actually have a uh, an air connection going on, so they can just stop flipping, griping. Uh, right. Let's pop another quick bridge over that. Possibly a little longer than is required. Right, let's go for this skinny number. That, that, that looks all right. Uh, I'll bring you around onto here. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess that the game has actually just given up on me connecting uh, uh, connecting goods facilities correctly. Although, I'll have a look at that. That's that's lending itself for, towards a, a one of these, which which I'm a big fan of. Right. 
get to there. See if you can get over everything. You can, but it's very high. I like it, though, so we'll do it. There we go. Marvellous. Uh, right, okay, so that's Atlanta. So in theory, uh, that's that's it. That's the that's job done. That's mission complete. That's, uh, that's you know, stick a fork in it, uh, get the cigars out, we're, we're, we're there. Uh, I do need to electrify all of the outer circuit, and I need to make sure that uh, that we've got um, uh, electrified stations. Uh, I want to, we're going to end up revisiting uh, New York again, and the, the 40 mile per hour New York approach that, you know, refuses to uh, to upgrade without, you know, bulldozing everything. In fact, it's just, it's just going, no, it's not, it's, it's just not possible. You can't do it. Uh, right, upgrade this station. I want high speed, and I want electrification. Make it so. Also, while we're, while we're talking high speed here, we, we possibly, possibly ought to high speed as much of this lot as we can. Because, you know, I, I, I don't think the trains are really going to warrant it. Uh, you know, we're not going to be running the, the, the most stupendously rapid things down here, but I think for consistency's sake, it's high time we uh, we stop mucking about and, uh, and you know, high sped, high sped this track. Good, right, yes. And that, I, this is I, it's, it's nicely showing off one of the advantages that transport fever has over train fever is the uh, is the fact you can actually tell from a distance where you've got high speed going. And for that matter, electrification. Yeah, I know, just pulled out of someone's house. Didn't even stop. Didn't even didn't even stop talking. Um, right, okay, so the outer line here is this lot. There we go. Right now. Why is it there that we don't have a completed track down here? I guess I've just never been bothered by it. Well, I'm bothered now. Let's uh, let's get it going. Do, 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 do. Right, come on, all the way up here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what somebody's talking about. I guess it's me. Uh, and a bit of that. High speed, anyone? No? Come on, stop using pauper track. Go for go for the good stuff. Give them the heat, as it were. And a bit more. And a little bit more. Now, I have heard tell that uh, that someone is working on a uh, on a system to actually tell you the uh, the speed limit of your track after it's been laid. Which I, you know, you can get by without knowing what it is, but uh, but it's that's tremendously useful. The other thing that I'd quite like, if you're a mod maker out there, is I'd like to be able to set the speed limit of a piece of track manually. Um, so an override of the game. Now that doesn't mean I want to set everything to be able to do warp speed. And you see bridge pillar collision. I can't even electrify this. Ha. Okay, right. Well, if we if we if we back it up a touch and get the bits done that we uh, that we can do, we might need to CSI this a little bit to figure out which bit of it's uh, having having trouble. It's got an attitude problem. Right now we've got a bridge pillar collision. Step one: Where's the bridge? Because I don't see one. I don't see a bridge here. And I don't want to remove any of this and relay it because there is no undo button. So if I get it wrong, then it's wrong. Bridge pillar collision. Construction not possible. Okay, where is it possible? It's possible here. Okay. Excuse me there, fellow. Would you mind getting out of the way so we can, uh, we can further evaluate what's going on? Look at these old-timey signals. Uh, we'll get we'll get shot of them. Bridge pillar collision. Construction not possible. Construction not possible. So you're colliding with what? Don't really know. 
All of this is causing collisions. All of it. Every last drop of it. Ah, it's this bit of bridge here. It's right here. This bit that leads down to the docks, which is kind of important. Now, I could get rid of it and fix the track, and I guess if I'm going to do anything with electrics running around the outside of this circuit, I'm going to have to. Right, well, we can do that bit, and this bit. Might seem ridiculous to be doing it in such small chunks, but I'm, uh, you know, I'm curious to see, you know, which bits we can actually get done, and uh, and which we're going to leave waiting until I, uh, I come up with some kind of clever solution to the problem. Right, let's see if we can upgrade the station without a fuss. High speed. Five buildings will be removed. Oucha. That's a shame. Not because of the cost, but because they're really quite scenic buildings. Oh well, they, uh, the game will figure out how to put them back in. Please. Uh, right, now let's... Let's think, because we've got to electrify along here. It's got to be done. Which means we have to get rid of this bit of road. Maybe if we were to downgrade the road uh, to one that was slightly narrower. Uh, so we've got medium on there now. Let's try that. Okay, right. Let's see if it's any happier. Uh, this is, you know, it's not the most desirable of, of solutions. And yet, it has worked. And then we'll have a look and see if we can upgrade it again. In which case, we will have, we will have pulled off some manner of, some manner of uh, escapology routine. Okay, good. Right, well, that's that's New York modernised there. Fair bit of fair bit of progress. Good. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Let's have a look and see if we can upgrade the road. I doubt very much it'll be possible, but uh, that's not going to stop me. I'm going to look. There we go. Right, whoop. And removing buildings, bridges colliding, cats and dogs living together, mass hysteria. You know the drill. Okay, guess not. Uh, we could make that a little broader to aid some traffic throughput uh, although actually I'm not uh, I'm not too fussed that's the mighty fine looking New York there we're right we're done we're done on that side let's keep going uh, we'll, we need to get all of this upgrade nonsense out of the way uh, mm, ah oh we're a bit of we're a bit of got some buildings in the way bad news for the buildings I should say uh, right. Now, do I need to bulldoze them first, or can I just, you know, chuck track at them? No, chucking track at them seems to do the job. There we are. Right. Thanks for playing. Good job. Well done. You knew I was coming. You're going like, ah, that's all right. They'll never build a fourth track there. Well, uh, how do you feel now, Mr. Genius? Good, right, okay, so if I, uh, I'm just going to finish this off going all the way around to uh, Toronto, which is the next stop on the line, and then we'll look at revising the passenger routes that we've got on there now, maybe even revising the trains that are running on there. Alright, let's not get carried away. Alright, let's go as far as here, and then have a look at what's actually going on. Now, evidently, at some point, I have had some kind of clever notion. Because we've got all kinds of insanity going on at Toronto. Uh, and I'm at, I'm at a loss to understand what I was thinking. Uh, I definitely wasn't thinking about a transatlantic rail crossing. Because, you know, we, we live uh, in the realms of reality to a degree. Uh, right, let's... Get rid of that, yeah. And this, there we are. Alright, come on, come on round. Come on, thank you, auto saving. Yeah, that, that keeps proceedings rocking along. Actually, the auto saver saved my bacon enough times, I'm never going to complain about it. Four more buildings deleted. Well, build them back and better. Excellent. Right. Uh, now, a bit of uh, a bit of upgrading is required. 
everyone's on high speed all the way to New York, so we just need to make sure that we've got our two lines here electrified. And this one is not electrified even, even slightly. Now, the game is, is pretty... No, 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 dot that one. This one. If you want to leave half of it, you know, pure. I mean, as I was saying, the game is pretty good at, uh, uh, at backfilling. So if you're trying to connect up two pieces of electrified track, it will try and m hit the two. But it's always worth checking that, uh, that it's actually doing that. Otherwise, you end up playing Hunt the Bit of Non-Electrified Track later on in, in uh, proceedings. Uh, right, high speed. Don't really need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, all of this. Construction's not possible. All right, well, you know, I'll tell you what, you know, for, for old time's sake, we'll, uh, we won't bother. Unless you're deciding you're going to comply. Are you going to comply? That's better. You are going to comply. That's jolly decent of you. Uh, right, and then we just need a crossover to get over onto the, uh, onto the tracks here to get to the depot, and we're good to go. Uh, and then we'll be thinking... We'll be thinking passengers. Um, or rather, we'll be thinking train setup. So, we want to go... No, give, just give me this. We want to do a bit of that. Now, obviously, it can already... Uh, from the depot, we can already reach the electrified tracks. It's just a question of reaching the, the non-electrified pair. There we are. That should do the trick. Uh, you even electrified those, which wasn't really necessary, and, and now looks pretty stupid. That's it. There you go. Get rid of that. No, what what you did there was you made them not high speed, which we do want. Uh, what we don't want is the uh, the overhead cabling. There you go. Now, does that look nicer? Why, yes, it does. Uh, okay, right. So, as before, I'm going to stick a couple of quick signals on here just to, you know, stop the world ending. Now, I could have put the uh, the second signal far closer to the, the junction point itself, but... Are you on that? You are on the right side, okay. All right, smashing. Good, thank you. That should do the trick, I think. Um, I mean, obviously, the only way we're going to find out is by, by chucking some metal up it. So, what are we running on here right now? So we're running these uh, Alco uh, PAPBs, and we have four of them in service. Now, I quite like these. I mean, they are not the most modern technology, are they? I mean, no one's, no one's going to swear that they're the most modern technology, and, and they're also not particularly quick. Let's, uh, let's trot along with one now, shall we? And, you know, evidently this one has seen better days. Or it's seen a lot of days, at any rate. But that's not stopping it making some good cash. Uh, the, the, the North American route does make decent money. So, you know, I've got, no, I've got no problem with this. What we need to do, however, is we need to do, take the one route we've got now and make two. So we have, is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six stations on here. Uh, which means I'm gonna I'm gonna try throwing six trains in each direction. Yeah, I know. Brace yourselves. Uh, right, so Chicago to Kansas City and then Atlanta and Atlanta Grand Central. I've already got it in there. There you go, there's the Grand Central, uh, which is the, the station in between the two, which we shall remove. There we go. I don't want it on this route. Don't, don't fret. Don't be. Don't be dismayed. We'll we'll make use of Grand Central at some point. And then New York. And then Tonto. There we are. Right now, which line have you decided to go with? You decided to go with the outside line, which is electrified all the way around. But I want to go on the electric lines. No, what if I were to say, in fact, you're going on the wrong electric line. Beautiful. 
Right, if we put one signal on there, does it go correctly around the entire... No, there we are. What's, what's going on here? Have you switched line there for any particular reason or just to mess with me? You know which I think it's going to be. Right, let's, uh, let's give you a waypoint, shall we? Right, guess what? Add station. That one. Yeah, that's all good. So yes, we are now doing the follow the blue line around the map and make sure it all works all the way around. Because if it doesn't, we'll uh, we'll just have to lay in, lay in some more hardware. But this is all looking this is all looking a little better. Nope, no, no, there it is again. Look, see, look, for some reason you've decided to try and go on that line. No, no, we don't want you to go on that line. We got a signal here? We have, but it's uh, it's old timey. So let's go with the program. No, you couldn't figure out how to. There you are. Ah, ooh, we've got a broken bit. Okay, good. I mean, you know, by good, I mean, well, that explains plenty. All right, I've got a bit of missing track somewhere. Which is a bit of a worry. Anyway, let's, uh, we've got New York. No, 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 we've got all the stations are on. Ah, no, hold on. You can't put, that has to come, it's because I've got it in the wrong order. That's why it's not working. Uh, on the way to New York is where it previously decided to take matters into its own hand and go, oh, no, I'm going to go off-road. Oh, it's on the way to Charlotte. It decided to go off-road. Okay, right, well, you know, we've got the tools for that. Yeah, stick one of those on there. Uh, just before you reach Charlotte, so after Atlanta. Like that. Yeah, see? See how easy it is to do it properly. And then round to New York. Still on the correct line, which is just as well, because I would be vexed if that were not the case. And then all the way around to Chicago. Uh, is this Chicago or is this Toronto? Is it Toronto? Yeah, okay. Now that looks that looks more like it. That looks like it's job done. I'm gonna go as far as Chicago and then we'll declare victory. Victory declared. Right, now I need a name for this. Uh this is gonna to have to be uh North American, uh, North American, where are we going? We're going to kind of going anti-clockwise. Um, the North American Dream uh, Liner, there we are, which, uh, which you know, is uh, a, a winsome name, full of, full of joy and victory. Right, now, if we go and have a look at our depot here, because I never quite finished off getting every track going everywhere. Uh, three. Uh, how do we feel about track three? Just needs to get onto the electrification, which it it will do as long as you stick it on track four. Okay, that's fine. I can buy I can buy three from each of these, and I'm going to because that's exciting. Uh, right. Uh, this is not going to be cheap, but uh, let's have a look and see what we've got to play with. Uh, multiple unit. So we're looking at the Alco PAPB, uh, nine million a throw, one hundred and seventeen top speed. Now the Speed Dance Express is electrical, um, and uh, I'm not interested. Right, there's the Alco. Right, now it's not the P8, but the P the power boosted unit. But that that's you know there for reference purposes. What else have we got going on here? Nothing at the moment. We've got this General Electric here, but that's even slower. So, you know, why would you? Let's go for it. Let's go with this. And we're going to paint this because it's dreamlike. Uh, let's let's make it this pale, pale number here. Right. I have one of those. 
and uh, and wagon wise uh pretty sure we're going to be going with no not new mexico's west fleet rail wests or or these bombardiers which are way slower as a top speed no we'll we'll go with uh we'll go with the lower capacity um but a little bit faster i mean i, I don't think i'm going to actually get you know if, are we do we want to go a bit slower what are we talking here i mean you get more passengers on board so uh, you know there is no but i want to run a lot of trains all right okay this will make my profit a little bit higher as well so one uh what's that 21 all right 42 84 so another four all right 168 okay good two three of those all right and that's port nelson train depot Port Nelson train depot too. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to buy some of these. Uh, it's almost as though I saw it coming. Uh, wagons and West Rail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What does that make it in terms of length? 250 meters, give or take, to three. Okay, right. How much did we burn there? We, I think we, I think we spent quite a lot of money there. Um, hey ho! Right now we're gonna we're gonna step all of these onto the North American Dream Liner. North American Dream Liner. There you go. Off you go. And you lot, North American Dream Liner. Right there we go. This is you know this is cause for a cause for a screenshot. I reckon. What do you say? Yeah, I mean, this is the only reason I set up this depot is so that I've got a really easy screenshot environment just sat there waiting for me. Thanks, Autosave. Yeah, you didn't wreck that at all. Oh, typical. You, uh... There we are. Pretty attractive. Now they're going to have their work cut out for them in uh, in getting up to uh, getting up to profit. Uh, but while we uh, while we wait for that to happen, I shall uh, I shall set up the reverse course. ATL fuel. I need to I need to look at some of these lines and make sure I'm actually serving them properly. I mean, what are the, what's all this about? Uh, just let's just get rid of it. All right. I mean, look at it. Miami fuel. Did did I say I was going to put a train on there and just didn't? Well, you know I can't rule that out, right? Uh, okay, so we've got the North American in city here, which seems to be running a different... Uh, they're running New Mexico's. Man, I'm a cheapskate. Okay, right, well, you know, uh, we need another two on that because we're going to change this route up. Get rid of line one here. Uh, delete that. Right, North American into city is going to do the uh, the same route in reverse obviously because sometimes people want to go the other way and again six stations six trains should work just fine now there's only four trains on here at the moment i realize that but uh uh yeah can we just no okay well we'll do it that way then all right add station chicago and then toronto all right, what have we got? You're going to have to give me a color I can actually see. A better color I can actually see, please. That'll do, I suppose. Uh, don't well, don't close it. That's that's not helping anybody. There we are. Right, good. Get out of my way. Um, all right, so far so good. We're working on the right the right number here. Uh, we'll we'll stick a signal in as a waypoint, just to keep it honest. Uh, and then out to New York. Excellent. Keep going. I'm, I'm hopeful that this one will set up a little easier. Uh, and then another one. No, we won't stop at Grand Central either. We'll go straight to Atlanta. Yep, this all looks fine. Yeah, you see, with the other one running, I think it, I think this one's just just got with the program straight away. 
Okay, good. Right, that looks splendid. Uh, obviously, we want to do a quick tour of the facilities to make sure that everything is actually running correctly. Uh, but I don't see any reason it's not. This bit is a bit suspicious. Let's just check. No reason for being suspicious there in the slightest. Okay, good. Right, now, so I need to buy another couple of those to run down there as well um, and, uh, and set the existing trains up to uh to auto replace for something uh just a just a wee bit more modern uh right get rid of these cheap train car carriages whatever you want to call them set vehicle multiple unit uh one of them uh we'll go with a, a slight a slight tweak on the theme bold uh and then wagons West rails, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, auto replace at 25%, please. And then go. Now, that's now going to have to figure itself out. Those, the trains that are on there right now, they're going to get to the next station and go, you want me to do what now? And see if we can see one currently scratching its head in a, do you want me to do what now kind of a fashion? Yeah, there we go, there's one. You're going the wrong way, mate. Might seem like a minor detail, but I assure you it is not a minor detail. You are going the wrong way, but at least you're doing it on the right track. Uh, I'll give you a chance to get your life in order. Meanwhile, out here on the main line, if you're waiting for a metro liner, that's cute. Uh, let's put in an order for another couple of these. All right, buy trains. And we're going with this wishy-washy blue. Wagons. West Rail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. That. Clone it. Set them both on the North American in city. Good. Right. Now, that's going to take a little while to warm up, I think. Uh, but, you know, let's have a... How are we, how are we getting on here? I mean, we're, we're flinging a... Obviously, this is a, a horrendously mismatched locomotive plus uh, plus coaches combination we've got here, but uh, it is it is the most effective, I think. Uh, how are we doing here? Uh, freight never disappoints. Thing of beauty. Uh, look at all that oil waiting. Uh, now, someone suggested in the last episode that I should be uh, adding more ships onto my oil lines coming into and out of port, and I will definitely get to that. Uh, but first, I need to make sure that my uh, my commuter route here is not uh, is not skew with. There we go. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for now. Um, there is going to need to be a little bit of bedding in for the uh, for the intercity route uh, to make sure that it's not bought. Did you stop? You're heading to Kansas City. That's, you know, good. You're supposed to stop at Chicago. I'm not convinced you did. But, you know, maybe this is just the game trying to space them out a little bit. Oh, it's because you're on the wrong line. You're, you're going for the points first. Well, okay, I can I can allow that. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, next time around, uh, I think we'll do Miami. Um, that'll, that'll be, you know, that'll be quite pleasant. Um, not least of all for those who live in Miami. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss out on that. And uh, I'll be back very soon with a little bit, little bit more of the same. Uh, chuck a like if you feel like it. And I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.